Hey guys, I'm Jay Dupree and today I am showing you how to masse and I can finally show you exactly where to hit on the cue ball because I now have the IQ uh, just shows different points the A stands for above center, C stands for center and B stands for below center. So I'm going to use this cue ball to teach you how to masse and how to curve it. So first I'm going to perform the shot and then I'll tell you exactly where I hit and I'll show you a couple of different angles. So I'm going to try to get this as level as possible in the middle. There we go. So to masse, we're going to start with this short, short masse shot. We're just going to go up and around the four, pocket the eight into the corner. So what we're going to do is we are going to elevate our cue about 85 degrees, almost 90. And we're going to strike down on the cue ball on the very outer ring of this. So our tip is pretty much on the B. If the cue ball is like this, it's on the B in the ring. So our cue tip is along here. Uh, so our cue tip is along there. If it's make sure it's level if you have one. And we're aiming for about towards the left, towards the direction you want to curve. You can also use a little bit of left English to help it there. We have this nice rail as insurance just to make sure that our cue ball comes off and knocks the eight into the pocket. So just I'll perform it and then I'll show you exactly where I'm hitting with a close up uh, version. So here is a small mass A around the four ball. Remember, we're hitting on the outer band of the IQ, and you'll see that angle soon. Here it is. Okay guys, so now we are going to do another mass A shot. Say we're further away now, like that. So what we're going to do, say we need to swerve around the four to make the eight. So we need to use low left. So you see how it has three triangular line, like it makes kind of a triangle. Uh, we're gonna hit on the left one. We're gonna hit the bottom of this left one right here with an elevated cue. So elevate your cue just a little bit and hit the bottom left little line of this, pretty much at the very bottom. Uh, if you curve too much, you can hit less. We can hit above that more. But it's that simple with this ball. You just need to hit right there and this ball will just train you on where to hit. We are going to aim uh, for about this second diamond over here, I know you can't see it, but we're aiming to the right of this four ball because we want to avoid it. We want to avoid it by a good bit, come back, swerve over, and pocket this eight into the corner. Now, this is not very hard with this ball. Uh, another thing, make sure your chalk's up, and I'll tell you how much elevation I usually use. I usually use about this much, which is 40 something, 40 something. Make sure if you're using this cue ball, tilt it towards the direction that you're hitting. Don't just have it straight, because uh, then you're going to hit real far on the cue ball. So tilt it to the direction you're hitting. Hit that lower left line. Make sure you're chalked up. Make sure you follow through. Uh, what's another thing you need to make sure of? If you curve too, like, not too fast. What, what am I talking about? If the spin takes and you don't curve until you hit this rail, you're hitting too fast. If the spin takes and it hits like right here, you're hitting too slow. Or you're elevating too much. So you just need to kind of mess around on your table. Just find out uh, what speed and amount of elevation works for you. And here's the shot. See, I'll put a chalk smudge where I hit. Add the ball angled upwards slightly, but you can see where I hit where that blue is. 
Okay, so for this shot, we're going to remake a famous shot called the Hustler Masse uh, using the IQ. So we're going to set the IQ up straight facing us, put a ball lining up towards the pocket, and put another ball up here. So what we're going to do is we are going to elevate our cue about pretty much full elevation, 85, 90 degrees, and we're going to hit the bottom of that B again, that bottom ring, and we're going to aim into this rail. Now what's going to do is we're going to pocket the four into this corner. Cue ball is going to come up, come back, make the eight into the same corner. So this is played in The Hustler, uh, starring Paul Newman and Jackie Gleason. Very famous shot. Make sure you follow through, through the table, and your cue ball should go up, come back, pocket that eight. You can use a little bit of left spin if you want, it's not really required. But here is the Hustler Masse. Okay, so now we're gonna move a little bit closer, but not as close as that first one. So, ball's about here. And let's put the IQ facing where we're gonna aim. So we're just gonna curve around that eight again and pocket it, curve around the four, pocket the eight into the corner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim pretty much for the same spot we aimed for the long mass A shot. Uh, maybe a little closer over to the four. We're gonna elevate more, but we're still hitting that bottom left line. So hit the bottom left line, follow through to the table, make sure you're chalked up. Uh, we're elevating more, we're elevating about 60 degrees now. Hit that bottom left, cue ball will come up, curve around the four, pocket the eight into the corner. Uh, this is probably the most common mass A shot, just a close range one like this. Okay, so for this mass A, again, we're curving around the four, wanna pocket the eight. Our cue ball is about right here, facing the direction that we want to aim. So we are going to mass A into this rail, go around the four, pocket the A into the corner. So to do, to do this, again, we're going to hit this bottom left line. Bottom left line right there, since if you look at it from this direction, the cue ball is curving to the left. So whatever direction the cue ball is curving, you're going to hit the bottom and then that side. So if it's curving to the right, bottom right, curving to the left, we're going to use that bottom left. So you don't have to hit too hard. We're going to elevate about, uh, let's say, how much is that? That's about 50 degrees. Elevate about 50 degrees. Uh, it's pretty simple shot. If you hit too soft, it'll curve too soon. If you hit too hard, it'll curve too late. If you elevate too much, it'll curve too soon. If you elevate uh, not enough, it will barely curve at all. So the main thing about this one is people curve it way more than they think they should, way more than they should. Uh, so just watch out for that. Also, you don't need to hit it hard at all. So pretty simple shot. It does come up in games, so definitely learn how to shoot it. And here it is. Okay, so now we're going to do this really long mass A shot. It's full table length. Uh, a kick shot's probably what you would want to go with here, but instead we are going to mass A. So we, since we are curving to the left, we're going out right and back to the left. We're going to be shooting with, we're going to be hitting that bottom line again. This little line right here, that diagonal line on the left, since we're curving to the left, that is what we want to hit. So if we hit there, we're going to strike hard, and we're only going to elevate about 30, 20 to 30 degrees. So not a lot of elevation at all, since we're not curving a lot. We're just curving like maybe an inch or two. So we're not curving too much. Only thing you need to watch out here is the scratch. So elevate 20, 30 degrees. Hit pretty hard, harder than the other ones. 
and this is probably the second most common mass a shot this is a really long one so just make sure you know how to shoot it i would practice putting the ball there and putting the blocker ball and just swerving the cue ball into the pocket multiple times in a row uh, just so you can get it down is a great shot to practice so that bottom left diagonal line i'm aiming about right here right about at this first diamond line right here with that bottom left hit hard 20 30 degrees of elevation and you should be good here it is Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, click that like button down below. If you want to be notified when I post again, click that subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope this video helped you become a better pool player.